Google reportedly plans to monitor our mood, our movements, even our children's behavior at home. They're going to watch Big Brother. Joining us, John Meyer. He's with Transpire Ventures. I, I'm going to say this again, John. That is Big Brother. I hate it. And I want to know what you think we can do about it. I appreciate you bringing it up. It's part of a significantly larger conversation happening right now in tech and in Silicon Valley around what do we do when the companies we rely on the most, such as Facebook, make the majority of their revenue, in fact, in some cases, all of their revenue, by selling or giving other companies access to the data that companies like Facebook have on you. And so when we hear about companies now like Google that have, in the news today, released uh, patents detailing how they're going to um, possibly track you in their homes with, uh, with visual methods like cameras, audible methods like with Amazon Alexa, and, and, and further target ads based on what you do in your home, which objects you look at, what foods you take out of the fridge. This is the kind of stuff that is, is, is an interesting ethical issue, I'd say, to say the least. Yeah. And one of the people who's done a great job at, I think, talking about this at a, at a very important level is, um, is Josh Constantine at TechCrunch. He released an article yesterday talking about how, you know, so much of this issue actually comes now on the shoulders of the tech workers themselves because the public clearly are, is still using Facebook, is still using Amazon Alexa. But where we're seeing a bit of a stand begin to be taken is on the tech workers themselves in these companies. I just find it a fascinating change of mood. A couple of years ago, Facebook and Google were wonderful communicators. They were benevolent. Now, a lot of people see them as evil, and I think big change has to come. But, John, before you go, I want to talk to you about Bitcoin and the cryptos. Bitcoin has plunged well below $4,000 a coin. Right now, it's $35.93. Is this the end of the cryptos? You know, I think at this point it is still um, just remarkably early. You know, one of the biggest things that I'd say right now is if you look at the post.com bubble burst, um, early 2000s, Amazon was at that point trading at six bucks a share. You know, it took 17 years, and in September they're now valued at over 2,000 bucks a share and are, you know, the second company to eclipse a trillion dollar valuation. So, so serious transition takes time. I don't think with Bitcoin it'll take 17 years, but I think at this point we are at some cases speculating a little bit too much over these short-term highs and lows, when in reality there are actually some really compelling cases of technologies and companies being built on the core blockchain technology yeah. like Bitcoin. And, and these are companies that have real products and are making real differences in people's lives. I agree with you, John. I think it's the, 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 it's the blockchain technology you've got to look at real closely. John, thank you very much for being with us. Great day to have you here today, and we appreciate it. Thanks, John. Sure. Thank you.